Dub C here, and we're back with another Survival Saturday. And today we have a new paracord bracelet to review. It's got a lot of functions, a lot more items than the, actually the Atomic Bear, which Atomic Bear is really good, but I picked this one up. But I want to stick on the topic of paracord bracelets. One of the viewers actually suggested cutting one up, see what we could do with it. Um, I'm going to actually cut this one up, see how much paracord I get out of it, and then I want to focus on the category of medical, emergency medical uses of a paracord bracelet. So I'm really excited for that. And I also have some uh, fire cord uh, that's 550 that actually will, I'll be remaking the paracord bracelet out of because if you're going to have 550 cord, you might as well have 550 fire cord. So let's get started. To get started, we are going to be looking at the A2S Survival Paracord Bracelet. has a lot of features, I believe nine. It has the adjustable wrist, which I really enjoy. Okay, so we've got the compass. The compass is really good. I like how it uh, it functions no matter what. You do have to open the uh, atomic bear because of this metal striker. It'll throw off the compass, so you have to open it to use it. Where this, whereas this 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 one is uh, more independent. So the next item I really like. So it has this little compartment. Look at this. Open this little compartment. Now you can put anything you want in there, but it comes with a, a little hook and some fishing line. So that's really cool, and I mean, it's easy. You could put like anything in there. It snaps open. You probably put some duct tape over there if you wanted to, uh, you know, A, get some more duct tape, and B, keep it sealed. So that's another option. Now, if you turn the compass, and it has little, um, like, locking mechanisms and signs on it, but if you rotate it, it actually comes out. And look what we got. So we actually have a knife in here. So it's a very small knife, but... I mean, it would definitely get the job done for a lot of jobs as far as trimming or even creating some tender. So really cool. So actually, this slides in, locks, and you need to rotate the compass to close it off. There you go. It does have the whistle. Whistle works good. And now there's also a fire striker. It's right here. So you got your fire striker, and then it also has a window breaker, which I thought was pretty interesting. But just a lot of features on this, and uh, I might make this my primary, but I'm not sure. I might, re, uh, like I said, remake it with the fire cord. I actually got this fire cord in a Minotaur Trading Company uh, mystery box. Um, but it actually has the fire tender inside the, the 550 paracord, so very important to make one out of that. So that's really cool. So it has it has where you can use the knife and get the the rod, but it throws sparks pretty good for actually for how small it is. So it's really the small, and it goes into the base right here. So all in all, I really uh, enjoy this. I'm going to be trying it out on my future trials, but let's go ahead and cut the other one open and see how much paracord we get out of it. One more quick feature I forgot to mention. I actually looked at it. So I got a signal mirror in there. Uh, inside the compartment lid so that's really cool too so let's go ahead and uh, cut this other cord up I believe the spot where you'd cut and actually right here where it's kind of pulled in and singed now there's a couple things that I am researching one how to get more par paracord inside the bracelet and two how to get a uh, quick release because I heard it takes some time I'm actually gonna time put the time of how long it takes to get this un uh, unraveled and then, uh, as far as a quick release, I heard you could actually make a quick release paracord bracelet where it releases in 15 seconds. All right, so I actually pulled it apart, and this is actually going to time this and see how long it takes to get this off. Now, the reason I say is their timing is if you've got a gushing wound and you need a tourniquet, you're not going to want to try and unravel this and get it. I mean, this one's actually going pretty good. But the quick release, like I said, you just pull one end and it all comes out. All right, I got with this one strand off the one side. It has the uh, adjustable portion. And now we're working on the other side. I said it's, it's actually pretty difficult and pretty time consuming if done like this.
Okay, all said and done, I actually end up with one strand at 52 inches and the other strand at uh, about 59 inches. Um, so quite a bit of paracord in that paracord bracelet. Now, like I said, I'm trying to get more in there. Now, this is the, the interesting part that I didn't know, and that's why I want to share with everybody else in case they didn't know. So inside the paracord rope, which is called 550 paracord because it holds 550 pounds uh, for strength, but inside here, there are kern, I believe they're called kern or core ropes, and that's what makes the strength of the paracord. So they're individually, I think they're supposed to be seven. Um, so we got three, yeah, so, so we got seven. And these are twine or pulled together themselves, so actually dual. You can actually untwine these. Now this is where the medical aspect of some of this stuff comes from. Uses for paracord is very vast, and that's why I just want to stick with category of medical. So the first one I'll, I'll, I'll start off with is using the Kern ropes. You can use them for stitches. So you actually pull this out and you can make um, even a thinner rope out of this, but you could use, do sutures out of this Kern or core rope. And you can also floss with it. So if you had to floss or you had something stuck in your tooth, um, I know that's not necessarily a medical emergency, but you wouldn't want that, um, you know, especially if you're stuck outside to be uncomfortable or cause a tooth infection or something like that. So two major things that you can do with that, that rope. Now there are other things, but like I said, I just want to stick to the medical portion of it. Another thing that this edge, um, both the mantle, which is the outer protector, and these Kern or core wire uh, rope actually make good tender when you have to cut this off. And then they also make uh, for like a nice glue if you heat them up and they actually like melt down a little bit. You got to be careful because you can get burned, but there, there's a couple applications there. They could be used for medical uh, purposes as well because if you need to stay warm. So the next one I want to show is the um, tourniquet. So there's obviously enough to make a tourniquet. So let's check that out. All right, I'm going to demonstrate a leg tourniquet with the paracord uh, bracelet, one length. I tied a bow and basically my wound is down below. I slide the stick in and just start turning it. And as you turn it, it's going to basically create the tension on the leg, stop the bleeding by cutting off the circulation to the wound. So one strand of paracord easily does this and I'm doing it on a large portion of my body, which is the leg and never done this before. Um, I've seen it, but it's good to practice out here. But this is why I would want a quick release um, paracord because you'd want to be able to do this fast as possible to stop the bleeding. The next item I would like to show is the splint. So all I did was tie it to the same stick, tied one end off, wrapped it, and then I would tie it off here. Actually use the other portion of it to tie it off here. And then on the other side of your arm, and then you could use it to go uh, over your your head or your neck so you can hold it in place. So it's another use, uh, just a quick improvised splint. I said it ain't pretty, it ain't the best, but if you need to secure a broken bone or uh, you know if you have a fracture, that will work in a quick scenario. Okay, so we made a rough splint, made a rough tourniquet. Both would work in worst case. Obviously you'd have more time. I just did them quick to uh, do a quick demonstration. Uh, another thing you could do is if you were having a situation where you had to be a lot of pain or if you uh, fell and got, say, a stick jammed in, you'd have to pull the stick out or something very painful, you can actually bite down on this, um, kind of bear down for the pain to help out because, you know, as far as the bracelet itself, when it's in the woven form, it would work for that. So that's another option for the paracord bracelet. Um, when the pair, uh, if you bundle up the paracord, you could use it as a, even a pillow. I know this is probably not enough, but if you had a big bundle, a larger bundle, uh, that would work too. Another item that can be made from the paracord bracelet is a improvised stretcher. Um, so if you had basically two sticks, tied them up, and uh, if you had to get somebody out, you could make a stretcher to carry them out or drag them if you make a uh, one-sided stretcher. So I'll start off with final thoughts on the A2S Survival Paracord Bracelet. I think it is a really good item. Uh, I will be keeping around. I really like the signal mirror and the fishing hook 
in line. I haven't seen that in a paracord bracelet as well as the knife. I've seen the fire striker. I've seen the compass, seen the whistle. Um, one thing I might improve on it is make the fire cord just like I'm going to re uh, wrap the other one. But as far as the medical uh, use, emergency me medical uses of the paracord bracelet, I'm only scratching the surface. Obviously, there's a lot more you can do with paracord. But I just thought there were some interesting things that I learned about it that I wanted to share with everybody else. Um, the fact that you can make a, a splint, a tourniquet, uh, a stretcher, you can floss your teeth, stitch a wound, all with the paracord bracelet makes it pretty awesome in my opinion. And I definitely want to have one if I'm out here. So other than that, I really, I think, I think they're value added uh, as far as being low impact, they're on your wrist. I may do other categories with the paracord bracelet where I can break them up and show other things than they can do. But like I said, there's a huge amount of versatility out of a paracord that you get from the bracelet. So that's all I got now. Thanks for watching and have a great day.